In this video, I'll break down how to create this really cool 3D freeze frame transition in Final Cut Pro 10. So as you can see, this is what the effect looks like. The subject just looks like he's moving in kind of like 3D space. It's a really cool effect and I've used this effect multiple times in previous videos. So I'm going to show you how to create this effect in Final Cut. Now the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to download the 3D orientation plugin from my website. So if I go over to my titles, as you can see, 3D orientation. Unfortunately, there's no way to create this effect natively in Final Cut. You're going to have to use a plugin, and that plugin is called the 3D Orientation Effect, and it's available for sale on my digital store. It's really affordable. It's just the only way to be able to create this kind of like 3D freeze frame effect. So the first thing you want to do is you want to head over to the second clip or basically just the beginning of the second clip. Now what you're going to do is you're going to create a freeze frame. Click on option F to create a freeze frame. And all that did was it just froze this frame. So if I play it, nothing is happening. It's just freezing that frame. So that's the first thing you want to do is you just want to create a freeze frame of the first frame of the second clip. Now what you want to do is you want to click on the freeze frame and you want to head over to the effects panel and you want to scroll down until you find mask. Now what you want to do is you want to apply the draw mask onto the freeze frame. Make sure it's applied onto the freeze frame. Now what you're going to do is you're going to cut out the subject. Now for the sake of the tutorial I'm going to do a pretty quick job but obviously take your time and zoom in and make sure you have a really you know, nice precise cutout of the subject. Again just for the sake of the tutorial I'm going to go pretty quick so let's just do a really quick cutout of a little dirt a little dirk so it's gonna cut out him now again like I said before take your time with this you know unless you like having the background showing but again just for the sake of the tour I'm gonna do it pretty quick so as you can see there we go we just cut cut him out and now that's you know the next thing you need to do you need to actually cut out the subject now what you want to do is you want to click on the freeze frame and you want to click option G now this is basically just going to create a compound clip and we're just gonna call this cutout you don't have to do this but I think this is a really helpful step so all I do is just create a compound clip I'm gonna go ahead and just delete the compound clip because we don't need it and we're just going to actually use a drop zone that comes with a title effect so I, I would just encourage you to create a compound clip it's just going to be really helpful now what you want to do is you want to head over to the plugin wherever you installed the plugin so for example I have it in my titles 3d orientation now I'm going to set the frame to 15 frames so basically this effect is going to last for 15 frames take the 3d orientation effect and then you want to have it end exactly where the first clip or the second clip starts. Now what you want to do is you want to click on the 3D orientation effect, go to the title icon, scroll down until you find your a compound clip, click on the drop zone, and then just click on your cutout and voila, now you have the cutout applied on the drop zone. Now what you want to do is you want to head to the beginning of the plugin or the title plugin and you want to take the rotation and change it to either negative 90 or 90. In this case I'm going to type in 90. So I would encourage you to do negative 90 or 90. So type in 90, go to the beginning, place a keyframe on rotation. What you want to do is you want to go to the end of the title plugin and then change it to zero. So it's basically just rotating on the Y axis. So if I go frame by frame you can see what's happening. Here is the um, degrees. So you see it's just rotating and there you go. If I play it, you have this really cool 3D freeze frame effect, just as simple as that. So again, as you can see, if I just click on this 3D orientation effect, see the degrees, it's just being keyframed from 90 all the way to zero, and then there you go. Now you have a really cool 3D, or the kind of like the subject looks like it's moving in 3D space, and voila. Now the next step you want to do is you want to add some motion blur. I'm going to go ahead and put the link in the description, so apply motion blur. Anytime you're doing freeze frames, always encourage you to add some motion blur. So just place it on top and then just trim it. You want to make sure the motion blur is only covering where the animation is happening. And all that's going to do is going to add blur to the animation and it's just going to smooth it out. So if I play it, here we go. Here is this really clean 3D freeze frame effect in Final Cut using my 3D orientation plugin. The link is going to be down in the description below. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 and Apple Motion 5 tutorials every week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, be sure to check out my Final Cut Pro 10 playlist where there's over 300 tutorials to learn from. Lastly, make sure to check out my website where I sell Final Cut Pro 10 plugins. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.